Here's what you'll see when you get the request to DocuSign something. You'll, in your email, you'll see this DocuSign request. Please review and sign your document. Sent on behalf of, it'll either say Sally Lawrence or Sarah Lawrence. It'll have your name and your email address. And the general directions that everybody can see will be directly below your name. And then below that, if there are special directions just for you, they'll be in a note here. So this portion here, anybody can see, but this portion here is just for you, and you're the only one that can see it. In order to be able to do this, the next thing you're going to do is click on Review Documents. And that will take you to the DocuSign website. And in order to proceed, we're going to review documents, we're going to sign then confirm, and you can save your copy at that point if you want to. The first thing you have to do is agree to do business electronically with Town & Country Real Estate. So if you don't check this box, you'll never be able to review your documents. Check the box first, and then choose Review Documents. And at that point, it will take you to the documents you need to look at. Again, if there's an additional note that's just for you, it will be here, and you always start by clicking the Start button. It'll take you to the very first place you need to sign. Click to sign. The first time you do this, you will have to adopt your electronic signature. You can choose whichever one you want. It really doesn't make any difference. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. So let's choose that one. We'll choose Adopt and Sign and your signature goes in automatically. In this case, all we're doing is initialing, and once again, we click to put in initials. And over here now it says, all required fields are completed, and we're going to confirm signing. You can make an account to store your document if you want to. You can just download your documents. You can print your documents. I'd prefer downloading. Saving a tree is always good. And then once you're finished there, you can just click the X to exit. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.